buscas no puedes Encontrarte a otro que te quite El dolor que mi amor te dejo Y te haga sentir mejor No, disculpa, ya no quiero que sufras No tienes la culpa No llores más por mí What's up, everybody? Happy Thursday, almost Friday, and that is exciting. So let's get into it, shall we? Where are we? Here we go. What's up? How you doing? Uh, let's uh, let's say hello. Good morning. Good afternoon. Hello, new people. I see some new people in the chat. Oh, look, I'm not super white today. I actually look like I got a tan. Sweet. Uh, let's go. I'm gonna try to use some good words for you today. Lolly, what's up? Gertie, what's up? Number one and two in the crew. Uh, Carla, how you doing? Carla looks new. Welcome to it. If you are new, welcome to the chat. Uh, Nana, what's up, Nana? Hardworking Nana. Maria's back. What's up, Maria? Nariana is back. Uh, welcome back, Nariana. Judy's in the house. What's up, Judy? English learning. Absolutely. Uh, who else we got in here? Tatiana's back. What's up, Tatiana? Denise, what's up? Saima, what's up? Aisha's back. What's up? Gabby's in the house. What's up, Gabby? Whale is in the house. How you doing? Uh, what else did I got? Do, 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 do. There she is. Maya's back. What's up, Maya? Albina is back. Oh, wait, is that Albina? Is that Albina? I think it is Albina. Roshan's back. Costanza's here. What's up? Ahmed's in the house. How you doing, brother? Simpleng is back, and she got the notification today. Hi, five. You got it. Sweet. You're back. You're in. You're good. Demoa's back. What's up, Demoa? Uh, who else we got in here? The crew grows, and I like it. Love it when the crew grows and it gets bigger. Uh, Adnan's in the house. How you doing, brother? Uh, who else we got? Jose is Brazilian. Welcome, Brazilian Jose. Uh, who else we got here? Noir, yes. Oh, man, this is a big house. Noir, Hanin, yes. Setin, yes. What's up? Igor, my man, what's up? Acel, how you doing? Marjorie's back. What's up, Marjorie? Vlad's in the house, my man. Now, Sika, interesting name. I like your name. Very cool. All right, I think I got everybody. If I missed you, I apologize. I still love you. I promise. So here's what we're going to do today. I'm going to jump right into this. Uh, what we're going to be doing today... Oh, wait. No, I can't tell you. It's a secret topic. Yeah, it's one of those days when I just thought, hello, Alex, how you doing? I thought, I'm just going to do... I'm going to keep it a secret today. So, so let me start you off with a question. You know, we like, let's warm up. Let's get into it. The question is... Are you a little old-fashioned? The crew is big now, Nana. You're totally right. It's growing, and we love that. We love a big crew. It just makes my, my like saying hello to everybody. It's getting longer and longer, but that's cool. I'm happy to do that. 
and I don't want to miss, and I don't want to miss a thing. You don't want to hear me sing anymore. Naveen, how you doing? All right, so here we go. Crew, let's get on this one. The question of the day is, are you a little bit old-fashioned? And if you don't know old-fashioned, it means maybe your clothes are from an older generation, or maybe the way you think. Maybe you, maybe you have an old soul, and the way you think and the way you talk and your opinions are a little bit from the past. So the question is, are you old-fashioned? And maybe also, how? How are you old-fashioned? Because there's different ways, right? You could be old-fashioned with your fashion. You could be old-fashioned in a bunch of other ways. So please tell me in what way. I think everybody's probably old-fashioned in some way. Nobody is super modern all the time, right? Somebody's, you got a way of thinking that might not be as popular today. So give me your answer. What do you think? Hadrigo's old bogan. We know that. We know Hadrigo's an old bogan dude. Uh, Naveen, British English is a little old-fashioned. Yeah, that's possible, right? Maybe they use some words which are... I don't know. They got some historic value. They've been using them for a long time. Tatiana is like, no. Lali is like, no. Alex, probably, yeah. Maya, I can't. You usually say on the house, in the house. No, we got to go inside the house, Maya, because the house is big, so we go in there. So it's not on. On the house means free, actually. If you say on the house, if a bartender comes to you and he said, don't worry, that drink's on the house, you know, giddy up, it's free. But if I say in the house, it just means you are here and we're rocking and rolling. All right, so we got some we got some modern people, mostly mostly modern. We got a few old fashioned here. I'm old fashioned, E D Judy, when it comes to manners. Okay, so behavior is a little bit old fashioned. No, no, I won't say I'm an old fashioned person. Okay, then don't say it. Or an odd bogan, old odd. Both of those work. A Selma, yes, my family is a a traditional, no L Y, a traditional family. Yes, when I'm lazy. When you're lazy, you're old-fashioned. What does that? What does that mean, Marjorie? You're gonna have to explain that a little bit more. Aisha, sometimes I feel I'm old-fashioned when it comes to going to clubs. Yeah, meaning like you don't like going to clubs, or what? What do you mean by that? Maybe I like the old-fashioned style. Are we talking about fashion now? Gabby, I'm a little bit old-fashioned. Ed, I still prefer trying on clothes before buying them. That's not old-fashioned. That's like most people in the world. Unless you get really good at online shopping or you like know your sizes, I think most people, most people would have that. You know, most people would do that. Uh, I still listen to music in my Walkman. That's pretty old school. Do you guys know what a Walkman is? Can I uh, can I jump in here for a sec? I just want to show you what a Walkman is, in case some of you are too unold fashioned maybe you're you're not old fashioned enough to know what those are i got to admit i had one of these guys one of these bad boys it might have looked similar to that that's called a walkman that's the original walkman and then later i believe they had cd players which were also walkmans except instead of cassettes cuz that's where the other one they had cd you guys remember cd's it's been a while now but anyways that's what a Walkman was. So there you go. Thanks for sharing, Rodrigo. Thanks for sharing your age and making me share mine. Um, okay, so Igor, I'm a little bit old-fashioned, mainly when it comes to children's behavior and education from parents. Hmm. Okay, interesting. Uh, I'm not old-fashioned, ED. Don't forget your ED, guys, because it's an adjective. So it's old-fashioned, excited, tired with the ED. I'm not old-fashioned, but I look like one. Okay, there you go. So you got the look of an old-fashioned person. Tatiana, I'm a li I think I'm old-fashioned in relationships a little. Okay, cool, yeah. So outdated, is it exactly the same outdated? I'm outdated. It is outdated. Like, usually products are outdated. Like, that CD player, man, that's outdated or out of date. Old-fashioned, we don't usually use it for products. We might use it for people or clothing. So maybe not equipment like that. So it's a little bit different. I think outdated is more like a technology thing. Uh, don't think so, don't think so. Old fashioned when it comes to music, I still like to listen to old songs. Interesting, interesting answer. Also like old movies, yes, yes. Okay, here we go. So here's what we're gonna do. I would like you to, now before, I'm gonna give you this. I would like you to guess the topic of today, okay? So I would like, so let me put this in here. I want you to guess today's topic. Are you ready? Here we go. Word number one is this. 
Here's the word number one. See that? You remember these? You know what I'm talking about? Uh, give me some old ones. Th like this one. I used to have these shoes back in the day, back in the day. The first word of today is Air Jordans. Okay? That's word number one. So what you have to do is you have to guess today's topic. Word number two is, okay, we did it. So word number two was, this one was Walkmans. That was word number two. Okay? Clothing brand. Mm -hmm. Word number three. <laughs> okay, interesting. You probably don't know what I'm talking about here. This is word number three. Do you know what I'm talking about? Do you know what those are? They were basically cards. They were like trading cards. You just have them with your friends. And they had all these different like crazy dudes. That dude's got something on his butt. Uh, these were called garbage pail kids. So they're like kind of like weird kids. Childhood? Mm, good guess. The good old days? Not bad. Oh, that, that's pretty good. Old crap? No, Denise, not old stuff. Uh, let me give you one more. Uh, this one might help you. This might help you. Rubik's cubes. Do you know those? Remember those? Is that is that real? These ones. Oh, they got new ones. Yeah, I was never good at these. Not good at this kind of stuff. But that's called a Rubik's cube. Childhood interest, nostalgia. Good, good guesses. Very good guesses. But you're wrong. You're still wrong. Uh, next one. What's the next one? Oh, we're getting closer here. All right. Maybe this is the last one. And this might help you. What? Whoa. What happened? Did did Google just Google? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh oh oh. Oh, that was amazing. Yeah. Still got it, still got it. How did that happen? Hold on, stop, stop. What happened? Oh my goodness, that's amazing. If you, if you Google this, stop, stop, stop. If you Google Atari Breakout, you can play a game. Oh my God, that's amazing. Let's, hold on, I gotta check, sorry guys. I gotta take a break here and just see what else is available. Oh man, that was awesome. That was so unexpected. Logo. The, ne the last word is this one. This is the last word. Do you know this? Look, <laughs> it's a video computer system. Look, it says it on there, video computer system. OK, so what's the topic of today? That was amazing. Atari, just Google Atari Breakout, and you get to play that game. That was great. That was so unexpected. Retro, good guess. Pong, no. Video games, no. I'm looking. Oh, Tatiana, you got it. You did it. And Rodrigo, you... No, you didn't get it. Tatiana, you pretty much got it. The topic today is the 80s. You know, the 80s. Check it out. That's 80s right there. That's all 80s. What else we got? Oh, look at this. That. Look at that hair. Ah, uh, 80s hair. Look at that. Michael Jackson, he's from the 80s. He was from the 80s. Look at this TV. Look at this movie. This is a famous one. This was, what was it called? I don't remember. So we're going to be talking about the 80s today. We're not talking about Atari video games specifically, but that was included. So we're basically talking about all things 80s today. Now, maybe you don't know very much about the 80s, but don't worry. We're going to teach you some stuff. We're going to show you some cool stuff. And we're also going to find you your, your personal 80s song. How's that? Okay, not too bad. All right, so we're going to travel back into the past, and we're going to look at a few things about the 80s. So let me share this document with you, and we're actually going to discover a little bit of it. Yeah, I know. You probably don't know. You probably know the 90s. I don't even know. I'm from the 80s. I was born in 1980, but I don't know a lot about the 80s, maybe a little bit. So what we're going to do today, we're going to do some fun stuff, and we're going to, we, you are going to discover your personal, personalized 1980s song. Okay, so here we go. So here's all the words that we we're talking about today. And the other word which I didn't get to do was neon. You know neon? Let me just make that black again. Uh, neon was the last one, so neon colors were also 
an important part of the 80s. Neon. So these are neon. These colors are neon. They're really bright, vivid colors. So we call those neon colors. And that was also part of the 80s. Hadrig was born in 1977, so you know, so you know a little bit. You know what's going on. Born to that. Yeah, it's okay, Yamini. You don't have to know anything today because we're going to teach you. I'm going to show you. We're going to give you some. We're going to quiz you on a little bit of songs as well. So, but I think the most important thing is we're going to find you your 80s song. Okay, so I think that's going to be the coolest thing we do today. Now, the 80s did produce some some famous songs, and we're gonna we're going to explore these songs for a little bit. So number one. I'm going to teach you a little bit about songs from the 80s, and some of these you might know. Some of them you might. If you don't know, you're going to get introduced to them today. So today we're going to look at different songs from the 80s generation. So here we go. Today you're going to look at famous songs from the 80s, and look at the following lyrics before you try it. So basically I'm going to introduce you to some vocabulary, and then I'm going to introduce you to some lyrics, and then you have to guess the name of the song. So, I don't know why that thumb keeps going down. That's supposed to be an N. So, the first set of words for the first song. So, first words you need to know. A lover. Ooh. So, a lover is your sexual partner or just your partner. Basically, both could be that. Break hearts is something you do when you break another person's heart. When that person feels very upset, you broke their heart. You break up with the person. You split up with them. You might break a heart or two. Claim. The next word, claim, is another way to say say. Okay, basically, if you say the president claimed that uh, there was going to be a war, it's basically the president said there was going to be a war, but claim is a more <coughs> official way of saying it. And kid is a kid, you know, a kid, a child. Okay, so these, so the first lyrics I'm going to give you now, for those of you who know 80s, this should be pretty easy because this song is super famous. So let me hit you with the first song, and it is this one here. And I'll try, I'll try to put some of this in here. So I'm gonna put a few of these lyrics in here. So it's up on here, so please read the lyrics, and I would like you to guess what is the name of this 80s song? Because mm -hmm -hmm. this one was super popular. Oh, so fast, so fast. See, yeah, there we go. You know, you know what I'm talking about. Dun, 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 dun. Too easy, right? And the, I should have probably not used the word Billie Jean in the name of the song Billie Jean. That was probably a mistake in retrospect. Okay, that was too easy. Hang with me. I promise they're going to get slightly harder. Okay, so that's number one. You know Michael Jackson, and you know this song, of course. Michael Jackson, he was the, he was very good. Some people don't like him, and I understand why. Oh, popcorn. There he is eating popcorn. But there you go. Uh, Billie Jean was this song. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I think this was it, right? Wasn't it this? This whole thing going on here is a good dancer, right? Okay, so let me go ahead. Let me jump into another one. Let me give you a new one. Song number two has three words only. And this one might give you might give you a, an idea of what it's about. So we have a mystery, and a mystery is a secret, right? Something you don't know. Stand alone means, basically, if I'm standing here and I'm alone, you're standing alone. But also stand alone also means being strong, being a strong person. So it's kind of got two meanings there. And a prayer is a prayer. You know, something you say when you want to talk to the big person upstairs or the big people upstairs. Oh, she's too good. She's too good. Yeah, I think you got it. Uh, you got it already. That didn't take very long. Yeah, you guys know this. You know, you know what I'm talking about. So there we go. Classic, classic, classic. And I'm also going to give you some music homework today. So you're going to go out and listen to some songs as well. Yeah, that's pretty much it. You know the lady. She's very famous. Uh, Madonna, also controversial. And let's see if we got a GIF. So here she is. Here's the lady herself. This whole thing, maybe you know this video. Yeah, look at her. Kind of controversial at the time because she was burning crosses and stuff. It wasn't Bon Jovi. It was 
very hot as well. Yes, she was pretty good looking back in the day. So she was pretty controversial at the time. People didn't really like uh, what she was saying, but I think she was kind of an important figure in the 80s as well. So there you go. Next song, something a little bit harder. This is more my style, I'll be honest with you. So let me teach you some new words. This is definitely more my style. So here's the first set. Now, if any of you guessed this, I give you respect. Uh, get down, what does get down mean? Get down means dance. Uh, it's an old way. If you say get up, it could mean dance. And if you say get down, it also could mean dance. It's kind of an old way to say dance. No, you got soul. Now, how do you explain this? You either have soul, you got the power inside, you got the, the magic, you know what I mean? You got soul. Let me show you a soul brother. Who's got soul? Soul brother. Who's got soul? Let's see what we got. Soul brother. Oh, this man, there, this man here. That guy probably. See that guy? That guy with the white there? That man's got soul. No, it wasn't. It's not Backstreet Boys. It's not Bob. It's not BSB. No, it's not Backstreet Boys. Not Depeche Mode. Either. This man. This man's got soul. Look at that man. Oh, James Brown. Look at how much soul that man. That man has soul. So if you say, I know you got soul, it means you got that, that thing that he's got. Backstreet Boys. No, it's not that. Mm, mm, mm. So much soul. It's exploding. No, it wasn't James Brown. It wasn't that. So let me hit you, let me get you. Oh, I haven't done all the rest. Swing, 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 swing this way. This is a swing, okay? Soul Brother swing. So this is a swing. Swing, give me a swing. This is a swing. See this kid? <laughs> That's a swing. But swing could also be like something like dance. Oh, no. Oh, batter, batter, ding, 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 ding. You got it, my man. The, the answer was uh, this group here. You did it, my man. You got it. This crazy group here was also part of the 80s. And these guys. These guys were pretty iconic in the 80s. Uh, rappers, group. Um, they were, they did a lot of um, this crazy man here. This guy here, and where's the other one? Where's Flavor Flav, the other guy? They were kind of, they were kind of interesting. They were kind of uh, supporting black rights in the 80s, and their music was slightly controversial, really pro, pro black in the 1980s. You don't know any of it. Yeah, that's fine. That's, that's why it's the 80s, you know? You maybe you, you didn't experience all, all that. But those guys, I really love that. And as a white guy, it was kind of funny that I was listening to those guys. I knew all the lyrics. And probably my mom was going by my room and like going like, why is Kent like rapping about like, you know, sticking it to the white man and all that stuff? And I was like, I didn't really understand it's too much, but I would just love the music. It was really great. So uh, that was it there. That was... Um, Oh man, so many so many good lyrics in hip hop basically. You're gonna have a lot of slang in there. Okay. So that was that one. And the last song. What's the name of the song? Oh yeah, sorry. Yeah, I'm not writing the names, am I? Uh, that one was called What was it called? Was it Don't Believe the Hype? Oh okay, so this is like a prayer. And the first one was definitely Billie Jean, of course. And this one, number three, was, who was it? Fight the, it's called Fight the Power, I think. No, it was Don't Believe the Hype. Don't Believe the Hype. Nice one. Okay, and the last song. I gotta teach you these words first before we do it. Uh, Tupac, no, it was uh, Public Enemy. The name of the group was Public Enemy, and these guys were pretty cool in the 80s. Next one, last one. Person number four. Sorry, Saeed, it happens sometimes. Uh, ne first, next one is Tick. So don't worry, we're going to be doing some exploration of 80s music as well. Tick, what is the first word? Tick. Uh, tick is what a clock does. It goes tick, 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 tick. Number two, caught up in something means you are really, really interested. You are really involved in something. You are really doing something a lot. 
So for example, if, you, if you're reading a book, you're like, oh my god, I'm so caught up in this book. I really love reading this book. I'm so interested in it. Confusion is confusion. You don't really know what's going on. And a flashback, what is a flashback? A flashback is an old memory. So when you say, oh, I had a flashback, I kind of remembered it, uh, you, would, you would say, oh, I had a flashback. I remembered my childhood. The lyrics were here. Let me bring those lyrics out. Uh, great song. So anyways, if you like hip hop, definitely check out uh, Don't Believe the Hype. That's a great one. Uh, and last one, number four. Uh, you got those. So let me hit you with the lyrics and you tell me if you know the name of that song. Dun, 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 dun. So there we go. There's some of the lyrics and there's the rest. Oh, Igor, my man, you know it. You know it. Is the flashback like trauma? I guess it could be trauma, Ahmed, but a flashback is basically just when you you suddenly remember something in the past. It's like a sudden memory. Uh, yeah, and I think uh, Igor is on it already. That is uh, Cindy Lauper, uh, Time After Time. And that's another classic 80s hit. Very nice, Igor. You are the trivia master. It's funny because a lot of people at my work, they know all these songs. And I'm like, I don't know any of those songs. So some people really, really love the 80s. So anyways, if you want to know where, if you wanted to get some like top hits from the 80s, this, this is what you can do. You can go to that and it's basically got a list. So if you go here, you can go here and it'll show you some of the top 100 songs from the 80s. I like this stuff. I like the Beastie Boys and there's videos there. You can check them out. You can always check out the lyrics on YouTube. There's, oh no, it was Fight the Power. Sorry, it wasn't Don't Believe Though I, it was Fight the Power. Let me change that up. It was Fight the Power. So there you go. So your homework is really easy. Uh, go and listen to some 80s. Listen to that man. That man's awesome. Look at him go. He's got so much soul. Go home and listen to some 80s and get to know it because a lot of people really love the 80s. So go home and do that. Flashback is a thing from the 70s when people used LSD. That's possible, Rodrigo. There you go. So the number one, in case you're wondering which was the number one, it was uh, Michael Jackson, Billie Jean. Uh, and then the next one was Joy Division, Love Will Tear Us Apart, and number three was Blondie, Call Me. So your homework is really to go and check out all of those 80s songs. So before we go on to the next section, uh, the question really is, what 80s songs do you know? So please tell us, what do you know? So do you, you know, for me, I liked a lot of 80s hip hop, and do you know, so let's take a look at some 80s artists, shall we? 80s artists and let's see what it really looked like because there's probably going to be some hair in these pictures so let's check it out look at that man do you know who that is that is George Michael and if you know who George Michael is then you get 80s points okay classic look at that so what do we call this what do we call it we what do we call this hair we call this what do we call this hair um, poofy one of the words we use in English is poofy. So basically, if something is really big, you say, oh yeah, she's got poofy hair. So if you don't know how to describe hairs that has a lot of volume, that's another way. If hair has a lot of volume, we would say it has, it's got a lot of volume, or we say she has poofy hair. Uh, there you go. Midnight oil, there you go, yep. Modern talking, the police, yes, good. All right, so we have some 80s babies. And that's what you call them. You call them 80s babies. Uh, people who were born in the 80s, you can call them 80s babies. And I think you could also use 80s babies for like people who love the 80s. The winner takes all, but I don't know whether it's from the 80s or not. I don't know. You have to Google that one. I'll be honest, I'm not a great, I'm not a good representative of the 80s. I, I like my 80s hip hop. But other than that, I didn't really like the rock and roll from the 80s. Unless it was Bon Jovi, I used to love him. Only Human is so cool. None of them, Purple Rain, there we go. What else we got here? Uh, oh my God, that's Prince. If you don't know that man, he was really famous in the 80s as well. The man himself, and if you wanted to know what, what is the name of the hairstyle that he has there, it's called the Jerry Curl. And I don't know why it's called the Jerry Curl, but when you curled your hair and it was kind of like that greasy one, they called it Jerry Curl. So that's what he had there. 
classic 80s songs. So what else you got? 80s, yeah, George Michael again, looking pretty good there. Baby Boom Generation, lots of stuff there. Oh, there we go, Freddie Mercury, right? We, we, the concert, the concert, we, we should have, oh yeah, we did, we did do that con in the concert, we, ah, yeah, there we go. Is the same as Poofy Hair. Uh, Jerry Curl is different. Jer if you're talking about Jerry Curl, it's the curly hair, which is wet. It looks wet, but poofy is just like you put a lot of hairspray in your hair, and then it would look poofy. So there we go. Like, look at this hair. Look at this 80s hair. Crazy. Oh, there we go. There's some good 80s hair as well, right? Curly hair. Okay, there we go. George Michael. All right, Tina Turner. Yes, all of those. See, I wish I could play a little bit more music on this YouTube channel. Then we could actually listen to some music together, but unfortunately I'm not really allowed to. Hello, Paul. How are you doing? So what we're going to do instead is I think it's time for the quiz. And in the quiz, we're going to, we're going to discover you are going to find your 80s song. So let's, let's get into it, shall we? You're going to take a quiz. And today you're going to learn what is your new favorite 80s song. We're going to introduce you to the 80s based on what you know. And I like this website because they do some really fun quizzes. So we're going to do it together as a team, as a crew, and we're going to discover your personal inner 80s song. So here we go. Please click on that link, and if you click it, you should go to this website. And it's going to say, which 80s songs are you? So we're going to talk about the vocabulary they use. What does rock and roll mean? Oh, nothing impossible. Where to start? What can I tell you about rock and roll? It's, it's quite complicated, man. Listen to some ACDC, uh, listen to some Led Zeppelin, and, and then you'll understand, man. Uh, it was a wonderful time. Just one click on your text, and you can see two choices. Delete one. Oh, OK. All right, so there we are. So go here. Please click on that link that I've sent you in the chat, and you will, ba-boom, you will come here. And we're going to find your personal 80s song for you. All right, so if you are ready to begin the quiz, you can scroll down with me and we will come here. What is your biggest fear? Apparently is the first question. All right, so here we go. Let's do the quiz. Number one, what is your biggest fear? So remember, after you click all your buttons, you will get your 80s song. Not before, only after. What is your biggest fear? Is it spiders? Okay, everybody knows spiders. Commitment. What is commitment? Commitment is when you make a decision to do something. So for example, maybe you have a partner, a boyfriend, a girlfriend, and you make a commitment, you make a de strong decision to be with them. So is your biggest fear spiders? Commitment? Interviews? Not sure why interviews. Maybe a job interview? That could be an interview. Or spinach? Do you know what spinach is? I'm not sure why they said spinach. It's BuzzFeed. They do some weird stuff. But this is spinach right here. Popeye eats spinach, makes you healthy. So are you afraid of spinach? Weird question. OK, so please choose. So what would I say is my biggest fear? Spinach commitment. I'm going to go spiders. Why not? Because I'm not really afraid of the other things. So I'm going to go spiders. Leafy vegetables can be scary, I understand. Next one. What did you regularly eat for lunch in elementary school? Lunchables. Now, I don't know if you know what Lunchables are, but I believe they're like pre-made snacks. Lunchables. OK, so this is a very Canadian, probably American thing. So it's kind of like, it's basically pizza. Is there anything else? No, it's kind of like, it's basically like a mini lunch box. And it's kind of pre-made for you, and it's got possibly some healthy stuff in there, maybe some minions in there. Okay, so that's the first question. What did you eat? Did your mom make you lunch every day? Whatever they served at school, maybe you had a school cafeteria and you would just go there and you would get food from the cafeteria or whatever my friend had. Sometimes you would trade lunches at school. So maybe you decided that your friend's peanut butter jelly sandwich or whatever you guys eat in your country was better than what you had, so you did a switch. That happened a lot as well. Sandwiches, there you go. So I'm going to go with what my mom made me every day. Whenever she made me some weird sandwich or basic sandwich, I basically ate that every day. Rice and lentils, sounds better. OK, so choose that and move on. Ooh, great one. What is your go-to? 
What does it mean go to? Go to means like your, if I say what is your go to movie, it's like which movie do you always watch? If I say what is your go to song, you say oh I always listen to this song. What is your go to restaurant? What is your go to drink? when you go out. So go to is like the one that you always have. So great word. What is your go to movie? Was it B movie? Do you know B movie? That one wasn't very popular. Clueless. This is an older movie. That could be 90s. Milk was one with Sean Penn. I don't know if you saw it. Inception. Love Inception. So go. Oh, well, sorry, Platoon's not in there, buddy. Fairy tale movies. Maybe B movie for you, Saima. That could be yours. I'm going to go Inception. Inception was awesome. I love Christopher Nolan. The actors in there were really good. So go ahead, choose. Milk was with uh, Sean Penn. You know this movie? I think it was about uh, a gay man in San Francisco. It was a really good movie. Uh, great movie. Um, but a lot of people probably didn't see it. So there you go. Okay, next question. What was your favorite game? Oh, this is a little bit of a this is a little bit of a generational thing. What was your favorite game growing up? So when you were growing up, becoming an adult, what was your favorite game? Legos. That's me. I still love Lego, and I'm very good at it. Whenever my niece says, "Do you want to play Lego?" I'm like, "All right, we'll do it." Call of Duty, video game, Barbies. You know Barbies, and dress up. So basically, you were playing house. Do you know that in English? If you, yeah, Lego forever, hashtag Lego forever, absolutely. You might want to choose video games, uh, but dress up is like, maybe you didn't really have toys, so you would put on your mom or your dad's clothes and play with your friend, that would be dress up. So I'm gonna go Lego because yeah, that's right, that's my generation. Barbies of course, Call of Duty, Nana, there you go, nice. Fortnite, eh, Call of Duty, maybe Call of Duty for you. Uh, nothing impossible. Lego team. Boom. There we go. Okay, next. What do you like to do during your free time? Read. Chill with friends. Go to parties. I never have free time. Whew, that's tough. One. Chill means relax, right? If you say chill out, man, or relax, it just means, it just means relax. Go to parties. Hmm. Now, is it now? What do you like to do with, during your free time? Well, I don't really go to parties that much anymore. I never have free time. I don't have a lot of free time. I read on the train, chill with friends. I'm gonna go with I never have free time because it seems to be, yeah, well, unfortunately, that's not an option, Lolly. None of them, you'll have to choose. Choose the closest one for you and that should be enough. I just don't have a lot of free time. I have enough free time, but I go home and then it's like time to go to bed and wake up and do it the next day. <sighs> Anyways. That's a good answer, Noir. Watching English learning channels, great idea. I'm sure there's some good ones out there as well, not this one. Okay, cool. Chilling with friends, there you go. So click your answer, choose your most appropriate answer. Next one, what do you like to eat for Thanksgiving? Mac and cheese? Do you, Canadians eat this, so let me show you what it is. Mac and cheese. I don't think a lot of other countries eat this, but this is mac and cheese. Kind of looks like that. It's pretty cheap but it's kind of cheap awesome. It's delicious in a weird way. You might not like it, but I ate this growing up. It was kind of like a childhood food, so I'm not sure if you guys have that. Stuffing and cranberry sauce? You probably didn't have this either. This is really an American quiz, isn't it? Uh, so that would be stuffing and cranberry sauce, this kind of thing here. So that's the sauce, and that's the stuffing right there. It's like a bread, okay? Peking duck, <laughs> it's just Chinese food. And turkey, duh. Okay, so Thanksgiving, what kind of food did you eat? Vegemites, yep, yeah, that could be a good Australian. No Thanksgiving for you. They're, okay, they are all good. So what would you eat? I would say turkey, duh. Well, and duh is a great 80s word. So for example, back in the 80s, you would say, so if somebody says, um, you know, what's the capital of, um, of Canada? And your friend would say, Ottawa, duh. So that's a classic 80s word. So if you say duh, it's like, man, you're telling somebody that they're not really smart. Like, why don't you know that answer? Duh, so use that. That's a good 80s word. Turkey, duh, exactly. Turkey, duh. Next one. Ooh, a little Canadian action here. 
What's your favorite brand? What's your favorite company? Is it Canada Goose? Canada Goose makes these very expensive duck goose feather jackets, and they cost a lot of money. Nike, Thara, right? A Spanish accent, you got to say Thara. And Kirkland Signature, I believe that's a food brand. I really don't know. No, duh is really 80s. Duh is super 80s. You would say no duh, man, or no duh, dude. It's super 80s. So I'm going to go... Mm, what is my favorite brand? Well, it's none of these, really. But what's the closest one? Probably because I buy a lot of work stuff. I'll go, I'll go Thara, because I think that's probably the closest for me. Oh, that's what it is. Kirkland is Costco. I don't go to Costco. Thara. There we go. That's my brand. Next one. Where would you like to live? New York City. Anywhere on the coast. So the coast is where the ocean meets the sand. That's the coast. So anywhere on the coast, that sounds pretty awesome. In some small town in the Midwest, so basically the countryside, or just outside of Boston. Not sure why Boston. I'm going to go on the ocean because the ocean is awesome. And so I'm going to go there. So what did you guys choose? Best, the place where you would like to live, anywhere on the coast. I'm not sure, BuzzFeed. I'm not sure <laughs> how detailed they are. Vancouver's a great answer, Igor. None. New York City, cool, like that. Soul, only human, I like that. I'm not sure why you chose soul, but I like that word. Somewhere in the US, cool, countryside, New York. New York is great, but remember, I think we, did we do a class on happiness back in the day? I think we did. And remember, some of the most unhap the unhappiest places in the United States were LA and New York, because the prices were so high, People had a lot of great expectations about going there, and then they were disappointed because it was so expensive and difficult to live there. So there you go. Be careful. Be careful with it. All right, let's go, Nana. We're going coast. Coast the most. Next, what's the first thing you're interested in when you meet a new person? Hmm, interesting question. Their name. What is your name? How much do we have in common? Oh, you like this? I also like that. So you have some interests in common their fashion or their favorite food I'm not sure um, how about the crime rate in big city yeah well probably probably not a good reason to go to big cities right hmm um, I guess I'd probably be interested in how much we have in common I mean names a name it's just a name what they're wearing who cares uh, so I'd say how, how much we have in common. yeah exactly how much we have in common Call it. I'd like to live in a small town in the New West where I can wake up early and live a quiet life. If that's for you, I grew up in the countryside, so the quiet life, I'm kind of done with it. I prefer busier places, So, but I hear what you're saying. Common things, humor, yeah, unfortunately humor's not, humor's not there. Their name, interesting. There we go, good. All right, so there we go. Choose your option. Next. What's on your mind? So what are you thinking about before you go to bed at night? My love, my crush, oh, my baby, my bae. Uh, if you didn't know bae, apparently these days, it's probably old already. I'm not, very, I'm not very hip with the lingo, and I shouldn't use the word hip because that's an old person word. But if you say my crush, it's like my baby, my love. And if you say my bae, it's also like my baby, it's just a shorter way. So you can say my crush, what is on your mind before you go to bed? Some stupid thing I said earlier. Hmm, that could be me. Uh, how much work I have the next day. Nope, don't like thinking about work. And it takes me like 30 seconds to fall asleep, so I don't really think about anything. Unfortunately, I take a long time to fall asleep. Not so bad these days, but I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go my crush. Oh, and I got my song, I got my song, here we go. You got Africa by Toto. Ooh, like it. So here we go. Let me let me see what this says here. Where's my song? Africa by Toto. You're the laid back type. I'm a relaxed kind of person. Totally true. Sitting in a library, fantasizing, dreaming about a continent that I've never been to is my thing. BuzzFeed knows me. I like traveling and I like going to places that I don't really know a lot about. Do you, which means you should be you. You do you, man. You do you, girl. Uh, listen to your song here. So I cannot listen to this song, unfortunately, but I'm gonna, I'm definitely gonna take a picture of my new song. So your homework is literally to listen to this song. 
You Got Africa by Toto. I think I know this song, but I'm going to listen to it anyways. So I'm putting it in my phone. Listen to my 80s song and see if it identifies, see if it identifies you. Africa by Toto. My song. All right, so what was your song? Share Purple. Ooh, Purple Rain's a good one. Time After Time is a good one. Maybe I'm a Nazi. That's possible. Okay, still on the last one. Come to Africa. Purple Rain by Prince. Those are classic songs. Billie Jean by Michael Jackson. Classic 80s. See? The, class, the 80s were right. They knew you. So, uh, I believe the thing I can, I can do for you is basically give you a homework assignment. Your homework assignment is pretty easy. Is to listen to your song and decide if it truly represents your style. Okay, so that is your homework. So I would have liked to have done a little bit more with vocab, but I think we can still look. We got a little bit of time. Let's look at some Amy's vocab. Now I know we've done this a long time ago. But I think we can look at a few more words. So maybe what we can do, maybe I'll get you guys to do some research for me. Uh, with the last little bit of time, go online and find some 80s slang. I think we did this a while ago. It's quite a while. And we just did a little bit. We didn't have time to get into it uh, very much. So go online and find some 80s slang and see what comes up. Because honestly, some words from the 80s we still use all the time in English. So what we can do is we'll pick out some of them that we still use and let's see what you can use. Look at that man. Look at that man. Mm, mm, mm. All right, so 80s slang. Here we go. Let's see what we can find. In the 80s, everything needed a superlative. So the most, the biggest, all that. Ooh, Abba. Did you, did you, hello, Abba, nice one. Batter, how much money I made in the last 24 hours. Is that a song, Batter? Did you get a song? Hell's Bells, Rodrigo, did you really get Hell's Bells? I wouldn't be surprised, because I know you'd love, I know you love the Akadaka, but uh, did you really get Hell's Bells? That's a nice one. I sing Hell's Bells to my daughter before <laughs> she goes to sleep. And if you do do that, here's something that might interest you. Spotify lullabies. And I've talked about this before. If you go on Spotify, a lullaby, a lullaby is a children's song. So the song is designed to be relaxing and put children to sleep. If you go on Spotify, they actually have famous songs in lullaby form. So you can play like a really famous, you could, you could find the Beastie Boys, you could probably find ACDC, and they changed the song into a relaxing song that puts babies to sleep. So there you go, go check it out. All right, so here we go. Let's do our 80s slang search. Get rid of that cranberry stuffing. So what do we got here? Now I've used that one before. 20 slang terms from the 1980s that no one uses anymore. Well, we don't really want that one. Kind of want the stuff with I want, to, I want the stuff that people still use. So let's see here. So what do you guys have? Oh, white snake. Uh, 15 slang words for that were totally awesome. Ooh, that's a good one. Throwbacks. All right, so let's see. Let's see what we got here. Slang words from the 80s. Chill. I believe that is one. So let's check. I'm going to put this in your document. Uh, just add to it. So vocab. 80s slang. Here we go. Number one, chill. Now, I believe chill is from probably from the 80s. So chill or chill out is a phrasal verb which basically just means relax. Okay, that's number one. Number two, gnarly. Yeah, so gnarly I believe is like a surfing word. So let's see what happens when I Google gnarly. This dude, look at that dude. Can you imagine somebody like that from California saying gnarly? He's like a surfer guy. He's got blonde hair. Gnarly is kind of like awesome. So there's another one. Perfect example. That was a perfect example of a guy who would say gnarly. And it's kind of funny. So remember, because you guys are second language speakers, you're not native English speakers like me, 
that's a good thing because that means you can say all of this stuff and it sounds super cool. So if you came up to me and you said, oh, Kent, that was gnarly, I'd be like, whoa, dude, how do you know that word? That was amazing. So feel free to use any of this 80s slang and you will sound cooler than you already are. So gnarly, it was gnarly is an adjective. Gnarly, just another way to say awesome, cool, nice one. What else we got? Gnarly, nirvana in lullaby style. That could be good, Albina. Chill and chillax. Is chillax from the 80s? Good question. Like is from the 80s. And like still exists. Everybody says like. So like there's a guy, I just used it. There's a guy in my work who uses like all the time. Like 80s gif. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens if I Google it. This guy. Look at this. Perfect example. It's like, I'm totally not in love with you anymore, Tommy. It's so boring. That's totally an example of using like, I think this movie, I think this is the movie that helped to make it popular. Like. Anyways, everybody says it all the time. Yeah, like. So you can just say it all the time. It's basically like pausing. You're like, oh my god, like yesterday, like this guy, he was like looking at me, and I was like, don't look at me, and no, 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 no. So you can just add it all the time. What is it grammatically? I have no idea. I'm going to Google that later, but I don't know. Question. Question of the day. Qu teacher question is like, what is like in the English language? Don't even know how to explain it. OK, next one. What else we got? Gnarly, yes. Dude, dude, where's my car? Dude is similar to man or buddy or friend or mate. Dude, very California style dude. Dude, where's my car? That was a famous 80s movie. Buds, oh, OK, didn't know buds. I, I'll be honest, I use that word, bud. So it could be bud or buds. And same thing, man, buddy, basically means buddy, friend, mate, all those things. Sweet, I think I used that one today, that's a good one. Uh, rad, rad is another one, that's an old school word. Rad means awesome, so it's an adjective, so it's basically rad. Cool, nice one, good one. Go bananas, yeah. Go bananas, go crazy. So it's a collocation. Go crazy. You can go bananas, you can go nuts as well. Maybe those are 80s, I'm not sure. Probably they're 80s. They sound old enough to be 80s. What else we got? No duh. Sweet. Sweet. Go nuts, tubular. Wow, that one is really, that's really surfer. That's really surfery. Tubular, again, I believe it just means awesome. Uh, <laughs> what am I doing? Adjective. Awesome. So ba basically everything means awesome. Uh, thank God you're welcome. You're w yeah, I mean, well, I want to help you. I want to help you guys learn to sound cooler. That's really my goal. I want you to learn the cool stuff. No duh. No duh. Something you say when... Uh, another person says something s obvious. Another person says something obvious. You know, um, is Trump the president? No, duh. Like, yeah, he's the president. I mean, not a good example, but you know what I mean. So you're like, yeah, no, duh. So please use no, duh. It's kind of funny. It'd be great. Uh, that's rad, bro. 80s typical, totally. Roll the dice. Journey, don't stop believing. You got your song better. Well done, buddy. Words parasite, not sure what that is. Sweet, sweet, and I believe it just means sweet, of course, uh, but I believe it's from Wayne's World. Do you know Wayne's World? This was a totally 80s movie. Wayne's World, I think it was 80s or was it 90s? Great question. No, it was, a, no, it's not. It says 1992, so sweet is a 90s word. 
But that was Wayne's World. It was very popular. I watched it when I was probably 16 or something, or 12. So yeah, it was not 80s. Have to delete that one, unfortunately, because it's not 80s. Nerd, and we talked about that before. A nerd. What's the difference between a nerd and a geek? Some of you know. I don't think I can put a definition there. It's actually too difficult. Okay, a geek. Someone, basically someone who is not cool. Someone who studies too much, who studies a lot, is smart and not cool. And basically you could kind of say a nerd was kind of the same idea, but there are some differences. There we go, a geek and a nerd. Nice one. Freak. Is that from the 80s? A freak. A freak is um, a strange person. Be careful. Don't call anybody a freak. It's not very nice. It's kind of like a rude word that kids would use in high school. Be like, look at that guy. He's so weird. He's a freak. Don't call people freaks. But it would be basically a weird person. A very weird person. Maybe no friends. Uh, does some weird things. Something like that. So a freak. Okay. Uh, Hooli, a nice guy, a fella, is that an 80s word? Totally is an 80s word. Uh, totally means totally. Totally is an adverb and it basically means yes, totally. Like, you know, oh, Friday, are you going, Kent, are you going for a drink on Friday? Totally. Are you going to the beach on Saturday? Totally. You know, you're like, absolutely, yes. So totally is a totally 80s word but we still use it today, so that one is totally good. Geek, a yuppie, ooh, a yuppie. That's a good word. What is a yuppie? I'm gonna have to show you a picture because they're hard to describe. A yuppie, this is a yuppie. Mm. These guys might be yuppies, maybe. Let's see, what does it say? <laughs> Look at this. They got very, very specific yuppie. Uh, yuppie, yuppie, yuppie. Who's a yuppie? It's an old word. It's kind of hard to define that one. Maybe that guy? It's like somebody who, somebody who had a lot, you know, really nice clothes, really looks, you know, their, their clothes are really clean and smart all the time. There we go. So young, it says here, the yuppie handbook is, oh, that's what it means. I had no idea. A young yuppie is a young urban professional. Mind blown. I had no idea. The state of the art manual for young urban professionals. So basically, if you are young, but you look like this, you have the suit, you got the tie, you got the nice hair, you got the everything looks like really professional, you would call you a yuppie. You are a young urban professional. Of course that's what it means. Ay ay ay. Ooh, good words. Oh man. Oh man, I can't even keep up. Take a chill pill. Yeah, good one. Take a chill pill. Take a chill pill means relax. Totally 80s. Super. Totally. Relax, dude. Nice one. Uh, okay. Oh, beeping and blowing up. What else we got here? Take a chill pill. Righteous. Yeah, righteous. I think, again, they all mean awesome. They just mean awesome. I believe. Righteous. Awesome. Uh, gamer? Is that, a, is that an 80s thing? I don't know. I feel like that's a newer one. Uh, righteous. Glam. Glam. Glamorous? I don't know. I don't even know how to use that one. I'm going to have to skip that one. Are all these words still in use? Maya, I would say... Some of them are. Chill out. We still use it. Gnarly? Mm. Like? Absolutely. Dude? Absolutely. Bud? Absolutely. Rad? Eh, it's a little bit old. Go nuts? Yes. Go bananas? Not so much. Tubular? No. No duh? No, but it's funny. You should use it. A, ne a nerd and a geek? Yes. Because geeks, nerds are cool now. So if you're a nerd, it's awesome. They're not, they, in the past, they weren't cool, but now they're cool. So a freak, eh, it's rude, but people still use it. Totally, people still use totally all the time. 
uh, a yuppie, not as often. Take a chill pill, a little bit old. But again, remember, because you don't, you're not a native speaker, you can use these words. And if, you, if a native speaker hears you say like some of these words, we're kind of like, oh man, that's super cool. How do you know that word? Because it's an 80s word. It's an, we recognize that it's an old word. So if you use it, so don't be afraid to use some of this stuff. A lot of it is really good. Uh, no da seems to be from Russian. Interesting. I don't know. Sup. No. Gabby, that's too modern. Pot. Is it an 80s word? Wicked sounds like an 80s word. Wicked usually in the past meant evil, but wicked now, well, sorry, in the 80s, meant awesome as well. So basically every mean, everything from the 80s kind of means awesome. Psych. Yes, you can use psych. I'm going to have to do a couple more. A smart aleck. Smart aleck, yes, is um, a person who makes funny but rude jokes, something like that. Good one. And I think the last one, psych. Uh, good word. That's totally 80s. Psych. Um, if, if we're playing a game and I want you to lose, I'll go psych, 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 like psychology. So psych is a word, what you say to, what you say to make another person make mistakes. Another person make mistakes. Uh, and there we go. And I think that's pretty good, yep. Uh, can I please share the document? Absolutely. Uh, so, and I think, that's going to take us right to the end. Folks, might be an 80s word. That's a great question. Yikes could be definitely an 80s word. So when you say yikes, it's like you're scared and you're like, whoa. it's like, whoa, whoa, yikes. Same idea. So there we go. Um, we took a little stab. We took a little look at the 80s, tried to do a few 80s songs, tried to find you your 80s songs. This will be better next time. I'm gonna, I, wanna, I really want to do some music with you guys, but it's hard to do music on YouTube because they don't let me play the music. So that's tricky. So hopefully you got your 80s song now. I hope you enjoyed learning a few words that we use to talk about the 80s. And like I said, go ahead, use these words because some of them we still use. And I, like I said, um, so now you know them. So when you go out and if you hear people, if you watch TV, you'll hear some of them. You'll hear some of them on TV. If you're reading some kind of casual book, you might see some of them there. So they exist. They st we still use them. So try them out. And I promise you will be cooler and you will be 80s cooler if you use them. Exactly, Gabby. Psych would be the old way to say jinx instead of saying jinx, jinx, jinx. We say psych, 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 psych. Totally 80s. Really awesome. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that. It was a little bit difficult to get into it. But, um, but anyways. That's it. We took a little journey into the into the 80s. Hello, Mateus. You've just missed everything, but we recorded it all. Thank you, Gabby. Appreciate that. P appreciate you using some awesome 80s slang. That was rad. I hope you guys liked it. Uh, we'll be back next week. And as usual, let me know if you guys are interested in doing any topics. I've been on an IELTS uh, theme for the last little while, trying to help out people who got tests coming up. We might do a little bit more of that next week. May the 80s be with you. Uh, your homework could also will be also to go check out some 80s movies. Like, for example, Back to the Future. That's a classic. Uh, so basically just do that. That's an 80s movie. That's, you'll see a lot of amazing, you'll see a lot of funny 80s slang in this movie. Absolutely. So that could be your homework. Go watch Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. That's pretty hilarious. E.T. Pretty in Pink. Don't really know that one. Uh, what else? Yep, Top Gun, classic 80s movies. Oh yeah, Teen Wolf. Michael J. Fox, he's Canadian by the way. Uh, this is a classic 80s movie. What is it called? Breakfast at Tiffany's or something like that. Anyways, check them out. There's a lot of old classic awesome 80s movies and you will definitely get some of that slang from those movies. That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Be back next week for another exciting Smart stream. Have yourselves an amazing weekend. Where can you watch these movies, Anas? That's a, that's a great question. I'm not sure I can share the answer with you. Um, but there are, <laughs> there are some. 
I would say Netflix would probably have some of these online, and you can probably purchase them from some websites online. Uh, those exist. I'll see if I can help you out after this. Uh, anyways, that's it for me. Have yourselves an amazing weekend. We'll see you next week. Big hug, big kiss to all of you. See you later. Bye-bye.